Okay, having a little sit down, talking about programming. So far, we have seen many different movements, many different variations of many different movements. My objective thus far has simply been to demonstrate that in a confined space with access to little or no equipment, it is still possible, hugely possible, hugely possible to do uh, a lot of different stuff. You can do max strength, you can do strength endurance, you can do explosive strength, you can even do some cardio. And uh, so now the question is how, how to organize it, right? And I am not a physical trainer, I am not a professional. And the ideas that follow are not my ideas. I got them, um, I became aware of them through a gentleman called Pavel Tsatsulin and many of the members of the company which he has founded called Strong First. And uh, these I consider to be uh, sort of the, the shining light. So uh, yeah, not my ideas. First notion, however, is just treating the body as a whole. This is not like a mystical notion of you know, oneness or whatever. It is simply recognizing that there are benefits when you train to uh, integrating rather than isolating. Right? So you want to do the opposite of muscle isolation or muscle group isolation. You want to do integration. Uh, for many different reasons, which are sort of beyond the scope of this video, because science. Second idea is um, strength can be considered as sort of like the master physical quality. Um, again, this is straight from Pavel and, uh, and, and the Russian scientists. It is the strength is the master quality in the sense that it is the physical quality upon which all other physical qualities that we care about are predicated. Uh, and that this strength should be approached as a skill, should be worked as a skill, technically, you know, as a craft person working on their skill. Next idea is, you know, the emphasis of quality over quantity. The one more rep, how many reps can I bang out one more rep uh, mentality can and probably should be replaced with a, um, I'm gonna keep one rep in the tank and uh, you know, only only go to failure when I'm doing a competition. Like for example, a power lifter peaks in their training schedule the day of the competition, not before, the day of. Or uh, you know, I'm working psychologically. You know, I'm trying to test myself psychologically, find my limits, push my limits, um, expand myself in that way. That can be dangerous. It's awesome. It's great. It's awesome. Super dangerous. Be careful. Uh, but do it, but be careful. Training training rather than working out, I guess is what I'm saying. Think of it as training and not working out. Uh, last notion is just that of simplicity. Try to keep it simple. Uh, ideally, you have an instructor or a coach that you trust, and that is sort of of this particular school of thought that I'm talking about. If you don't, or if you have one, but who's of a different school of thought, and maybe you're starting to think, I don't, I don't know about that. That's maybe not for me so much. Check out Pavel's books. Uh, you can, you know, do the Kindle thing. You can do the audio book. I don't know if he has audio books. Do the Kindle thing. Uh, videos online, Strong First website, links down below. All that stuff, awesome resources. And there are a lot of programs that exist, body weight, kettlebell, barbell, that you can implement right now uh, that are, you know, battle tested and uh, proven, proven to work really well. So. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, these are my two cents on programming. Um, if you want to know more stuff about where to look, uh, you know, there's there's a lot of resources online. But I'm happy to you know, happy to help guide towards uh, guide towards the light if possible. So please let me know. I hope this was helpful. And uh, you know, get in there and train a little bit. <sighs> Who says that? Come on.